He is our brother. You know, in the Greek, in this particular instant, brother means far more than just blood. It means something far greater. It means a bond that cannot be broken. It is a bond that Jesus Christ seals within us. And He gives us. And we will fully understand what it truly means to be brothers and sisters in Christ when we get to heaven where we will rule and reign with Christ forever. During the time that this book was written, Revelation, persecution was an utmost high under the reign of Domitian, the Caesar of Rome, who fed Christians to lions daily, boiled them in oil, and did many unimaginable things. He spat in the face of God, and he commanded that everybody worship him as God. But you see, the Christians, they will not bow down. They will not compromise with the world. They will not compromise their convictions. And they will not bow down before Caesar and proclaim him as God. So as a result of them not bowing down, they were fed to lions and they were boiled in oil. Well, you see, John was in the dungeon. And you see, he had guards that would guard him constantly as if he was a prisoner. But John, in reality, was no prisoner. He was one of the sons of thunder. He was one of the few who actually saw God in his glory on the Mount of Transfiguration. He was a preacher of the gospel. And he was a preacher of the Lord. And as a preacher of the Lord, he had a responsibility to not compromise. And one of the messages of Revelation is simply this. Do not compromise. In the midst of tribulation. He understands what it means to go through tribulation. He went through more tribulation than probably any of us will ever see. It was a brutal scene on the Isle of Patmos, an island made for the purpose of hard labor. John, being over 90 years old, was forced to do hard labor every day in the mines. And sometimes he would get tired and he would feel lonely. He did not deserve this treatment. After all, he was a child of the king. He should have been enjoying retired life. Kicking back and relaxing. But not John. John, at being over 90 years old, was still faithful and still preached the gospel. He was a fiery preacher even at 90 years old. God doesn't call us to retire no matter how old you are. You still have a responsibility to witness and to proclaim the gospel. So don't enjoy retirement too much. Because in the kingdom, there is no retirement. But John had not taken it easy. That is why he...